Hello everyone, welcome to Nubo Creative Tutorials. Today we have an Emotion Graphics tutorial in our series and I will show you how to create particle kaleidoscope in Adobe After Effects without using any third-party plugins. So create your composition and let's get started. So after create your composition, create a new solid and let's rename this Collider and hit OK and then I'm going to apply CC ball action and if you want to know more about the CC ball action make sure to watch the previous tutorial on how to create particle transition in Adobe After Effects using this uh, effect. So here basically we have scatter and we have rotation and we have a different axis here and we have a twist angle and some different properties and ball size here and spacing. Okay, so let's uh, reset this and I'm going to choose here rotation to this last one here and on twist property, I'm going to choose here center Y and I'm going to twist this a little bit, something like this and I'm going to put spacing to just one and the ball size to 30 so we get something like this and then I'm going to apply CC collider here and we're going to get something like this and of course here we have few properties so here we have different mirroring style as you see here so I'm going to choose this stylish here and here we have rotation it doesn't matter now so as you see we got something very interesting so Collider is mirroring and replicating all these stuff going on here and the cool thing about this is if we change here for example just the rotation axis we get a different result so the idea here now is if we add a camera here and Let's go back here to turn off the CC Collider and now if we turn or rotate these because these effects work with uh, the camera. So and now if we turn these back, you would see just by changing the camera here using the camera tool, we're getting a few of different endless result here without changing any other properties here, which is very cool. And we already get these nice, interesting looking patterns here. And of course you can animate this just animating the camera. So what I'm going to do now is basically, let's put this size to something bigger, something just like this. And as you see, when I'm zooming the camera, we're zooming the whole pattern there. So let's get something like this. And I'm going to duplicate this control D and I'm going to remove CC Collider on second duplicate. And on the first one, I'm going to copy these with property links and then paste it here. So now if I change the size or something, they are linked. So on this one right now, I'm going to change spacing to two and change ball size maybe to, or just leave these to 30 and this one to 15. So here we have two of them. And so let's actually change colors here. So let's add fill. And you would see that we have this red here. I already have this color palette I want to use here. So here, let's choose this white. And here, let's choose this color. So for the second one, now we can basically change just the twist rotation. So we see both of them here. So I'm going to duplicate this again and let's choose another different color here. And this time I'm going to put this to four. 
and then 10. So just keep building here, maybe change the rotation. You can basically see much there. But if we look on the center, there is stuff changing because the particles are too small. Let's put 15 there and duplicate one more time. And this time I'm going to choose white and put the space into the maximum here. And you would already see what's going on here. So here we can choose center axis. We have a different axis there and ball size, we make them small. And so here we are like getting, we can start building these. So maybe make them smaller here. We can keep going, control D, duplicate these, maybe give this color and just change the rotation, maybe something bright, maybe this one. And maybe also twist. Maybe we can put that to center Y. You can do any, anything here. It doesn't matter to have just these two different properties there. So let's basically leave that random. And you already see that we got something very interesting here. And if we'll go back to the first one, changing here the rotation, we're getting very cool and interesting looking here. But the hope we're here is using the camera. So now by moving the camera here, let's choose preview here. Like, as you see, the camera is moving and we're getting this nice, interesting looking stuff going on here. It's going to be endless results. And as we actually zoom out or zoom in, we're getting closer to those particles. And the idea here, if we solo these and keep only the CC ball, we're zooming to those particles or CC ball action, and then we're replicating them. So here we are getting a, a very nice result. And of course we can create animation using this. We can create endless animation. We can just animate here the rotation. So we can animate from zero to one. And I'm going back one frame. And let's preview and see how this looks like. So as you see, it looked very cool. Just by one property animating, we get this and we can keep this and change maybe the look here. Maybe we don't want these kind of patterns here. And we're going to zoom out this. And also we can just keep doing different things. So maybe here change all the axis stuff so the look is changing too so as you see just rotating the camera here and we're getting very beautiful and interesting looking stuff here and what i'm going to do is add a new null object make it 3d and then link the camera to this null and so what I'm going to do here, we can basically animate, animate in here, maybe the camera, so we get um, different look in here. So as you see, I'm just moving here the null and we are getting very interesting stuff going on here. And you can keep on building to build complex geometries here. So I'm going to show you a few tips on this. So the first thing here, I just used here a solid layer. So basically we can use any footage here. So we select all these. And here I have this footage from Adobe Stock. 
and the home alt to replace it here and basically nothing happened so what i'm going to do is get rid of these colors i made so here actually instead of changing colors we are inheriting the colors from the source footage so as it's playing here the colors were changed according to the footage we have as you see here um, we are having very nice coloring and changing on this footage which is give us a nice texturing to the particles and to stylize this i'm going to add a glow effect so i'm just going to copy here this adjustment layer already applied close to it and it's straightforward to create just glow and adding a noise effect to give it a nice look there as you see it adds some brightness and details and it stylized the look of these patterns and also another tip here is you can basically use this with audio so for example here uh, i have audio applied to scatter here so let's get a preview So as you see here, um, so as you see here, we have these particles reacting to the audio, just the ones right here. So let's actually see what's going on here. So on scatter here, we are only scattering those particles. Let's solo these. So if we turn off the expression here, as you see, we can scatter them as we want to, but with the expression here, what we use is a link these to the audio and then use a linear expression. So we can uh, put the maximum and the minimum to scatter here. So that's what it's doing. And so you can do it basically with anything else or any property to give a very interesting animation to these particles and to these patterns and in case you want to animate these a layer into a 3d space all you need to do is pre-compose it and then turn it into a 3d layer and then add a camera and motion tile to it so you can repeat everything there and then if there is anything doesn't look seamless all you need to do is adjust the size of CC Collider to make it seamless as you want it to be. And if you want to fake the camera dip to field, you can just add adjustment layer and apply a lens blur to it and then just mask it so you give that nice uh, camera look to it. So hope it was very useful tutorial for you guys. And if you have any questions, just comment and I will do my best to be responsive. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials coming soon. And thank you for watching.